So, if we can eliminate the customer's fear of paying too much in the first five or ten minutes of the engagement, what does that do to our chances of creating a delivery? It increases them. You know, nothing's 100%. It increases. Look, nothing works 100% of the time with 100% of the people. But these strategies work more of the time with more of the people. Look, you've got, uh, you've got the ultimate sales tool here. I wouldn't go to work for a store that didn't provide me something like this. Because if you don't have this, what are you left with? It's the story. Price. You're left with price. I mean, obviously, if I like Mike a lot, I'm, I'm just liable to pay him some gross profit. If, I, if I've been coming to guess for my cars for 20 years, um, the, I'm probably easier to work with than someone who just showed up here because of an Internet ad or a vehicle on the Internet that they saw. But the truth of the matter is, and I haven't seen any statistics since April, but in the month of April, both new and used car grosses hit historical lows. Mike, do you think they're going to be going up anytime soon? Probably not. Probably not. Okay. It's never been easier to sell a car. It's never been more difficult to generate a fair profit. So dealers, smart dealers, are turning to what I call value propositions. Um, the value propositions for most stores, and I mystery shop a lot. I mystery shop because I'm constantly looking for good ideas. I, I know that I'm not the smartest, if I'm the smartest guy in the room, I'm in the wrong room. Um, so every time I read about a store that uh, does something special, I'll mystery shop them. I want to see what people are saying on the phone that might make me want to come into the store, what they're saying in an email that might make me want to come into the store. I'm looking for good ideas. I always ask this question, and the question is, hey, Dennis, what's your value proposition? By the way, what is a value proposition? It's in a building value that's worth something to the customer. Okay, it's worth something to the customer. But uh, that green Mustang is worth something. I mean, the, the customer came in to see the green Mustang, all right? What's the value proposition? Because there's lots of green Mustangs out there. It's something that makes your dealership better it's than the other something dealership. that makes your product different from somebody else's product. Now, the fact that Guess has been in business for, what, 86, 87 years? Okay, it's family-owned. You know, that's part of the value proposition. Jay, you're part of the value proposition. If I don't like you, what are the chances of you delivering me a car? Well, right off the bat. You're... Right, but if I like you, you know, chances go up. You know, automobile salespeople have to be likable. I mean, it's tough, enough, it's tough enough to sell cars when you're likable. If you're not likable, you ain't got a prayer of making it in this business. So there's different aspects to the value proposition. When I ask somebody what a value proposition is, most people don't know. Then I explain it to them. I say, well, what's your dealership do that, uh, that other dealerships don't? And here's what I hear most of the time. We've got a great service department. We've got a great location. We have a wonderful selection of vehicles. Uh, we have high customer satisfaction marks. We treat our customers like family. Um, we're a family-owned business. We're a publicly held corporation. Everybody says the same thing. If everybody says the same thing, is it really a value proposition? No, it's not. Doesn't mean it, th these things aren't important. But this has got quantifiable value. You can eliminate the customer's fear of paying too much. You can eliminate the customer's fear of uh, getting stuck with the wrong car. Mike, how can we eliminate the fear of getting stuck with the wrong car? It's just like you bring it back, we'll exchange it. It's like Walmart. Okay? If I go to the Chevy store I saw coming in this morning and I buy a car from them, can I exchange it? Probably not. Probably not. In about 95% of the cases, Probably not. Now that's slowly changing. 